I'm Henry from Van Wilgen's Garden Center and welcome to our second segment of Perennial of the Week. This week's theme is Deer Resistant Gardening and our feature plant for this week is Lavender. And if you've ever been around lavender, you know one of the best qualities about lavender and that is the fragrance of the plant. It is so pungently fragrant, a lot of people will use it for along their walkways, they'll use it for containers on their deck just so that they can have the plant around in that great, great aroma. Lavender is also a real great bloomer for the garden as well, the wonderful purple blooms that hold on for a long time in the season that you could even cut and use as a dried flower uh, inside the house. Now lavender, uh, you're going to want to do this in a nice well drained spot. Uh, it'll reward you year after year and uh, if it starts to get a little too big on you, you can just take the plant, shear it down every March uh, to about a third of the height and that'll keep it looking fresh and wonderful in the garden. Now, Lavender being our feature plant, you got to have a few things to go along with lavender. And because of the fragrance in the foliage of lavender, that's one of the things that makes this plant a great deer resistant plant because deer have sensitive noses. They don't like strong odors in the garden. So something like lavender uh, will help to repel the deer and keep them from eating uh, the plant on you in the garden. Now a lot of the other plants we're going to focus on today are also going to have uh, odor to the foliage as well. And in many cases, uh, it's going to be pleasing as you'll see in a, in a little while. Now our next plant, something to go along with lavender, is going to be this great plant right here. This is Yarrow Coronation Gold. Yarrow Coronation Gold is going to be one of the taller yarrows for the garden. Makes it a great, great cut flower. You have a wonderful silvered foliage on this plant. Uh, but again, the, the foliage is going to have uh, a pungent aroma to it that is going to help to uh, repel the deer and keep them from eating your plants. And another great summer bloomer that's going to be deer resistant for the garden is going to be this Russian sage. Russian sage has got a uh, multi-interest to it. First of all, you've got the great blooming of the plant, this wonderful purple bloom. You've got a great silvered foliage that will go along with many other plants in your garden. And also again, you know, we have another plant that's going to have a pungent aroma to the foliage that's going to have that kind of great sage fragrance uh, in the garden. This is going to get to be about uh, four feet in the garden it makes a great dramatic presence and it will bloom summer even into fall so it's going to be a great workhorse uh, to go with a lot of your other summer blooming plants. And I think everybody's going to recognize this next plant for the garden. This is good old fashioned black eyed Susan. This is another one that's going to be deer resistant but for a completely different reason. Black eyed Susan has a hairiness to the foliage uh, that, the, uh, that the deer don't like which is another group of plants that you can use for the garden. Anything that tends to have hairs uh, on the stems or on the leaf uh, generally will keep deer away uh, also from eating your plant. Now, Black-Eyed Susan, I'm sure this is going to make a great cut flower. It's an incredible uh, summer bloomer for the garden. It's going to go great with other summer blooming items like our Russian sea. Another great plant for the garden is this Campanula Blue Eclipse. This is going to be a great dwarf plant for the garden that deer don't like the taste of. You can use this for the rock garden, you can use this for the front of the border, and the great appeal to this is that it's going to be a wonderful summer bloomer with these great uh, purple-blue cup-shaped flowers. This is going to go July through September in the garden, and it's a pretty much low-care, no-fuss plant. Another great plant that we have for the garden is this Agastache right here. This is going to be a wonderful, wonderful summer bloomer with these great spikes of purple flowers in the garden. and. What makes this unappealing to the deer, and actually I, this is kind of appealing to all of us, is the fact that the scent of this plant in the foliage is going to have a wonderful, wonderful licorice scent to it uh, in the garden. So when you kind of plant this and you walk by it in the garden, it's going to kind of make you want some licorice uh, in the garden. Not only is this a great deer plant, but this is also going to be a wonderful plant for, for hummingbirds. It's going to be great for butterflies, and it's also going to be great for honeybees as well in the garden. And if you do keep the old flowers trimmed off on this, this is going to bloom all summer into the fall for you in the garden. And going in a totally another direction is going to be ornamental grasses. Now a lot of people think the ornamental grasses would be something that's just deer food, but actually the deer actually do not bother uh, with the grasses that you plant in the garden. Now this happens to be one of my favorite grasses. We've had this planted here at the garden center now going on six years. This is Panicum Northwind. And Panicum Northwind is going to be a native grass, which is going to be great because it's going to take our winters, it's going to take the heat of our summers. Uh, as most of you know, we've actually been having a little bit of a heat wave, we're in a little bit of a drought. And if you look at this grass, this grass is still perfect uh, in the garden. 
Uh, so it holds up wonderfully. The plumes that come out on this in the fall are going to be beautiful and airy uh, in nature. And uh, it's not going to get terribly tall for you either. This is going to top out about six feet in height in the garden. So wonderful, wonderful grass to do. Highly recommend that everybody should plant one. And for all you shade gardeners out there, here's an oldie but a goodie that everybody should get back into the garden and revisit, and that's ferns. Uh, ferns are deer resistant. Uh, they do not eat them. And there's so many great types that you could definitely do for the garden. Uh, first of all, you've got the great silvers of all the painted ferns. You've got the great daintiness of the maidenhair ferns. And you've also got great native ferns like this ostrich fern and this cinnamon fern right here. So now would be a great time to revisit ferns if you do uh, garden in the shade and you do have a deer problem. Thanks for watching our second installment of Perennial of the Week Deer Resistant Gardening. I'm Henry from Van Wilson's Garden Center and we hope to see you down here at the Garden Center real soon.